Hi Libra, happy Sunday. Hope you're having a good day. Let's go and get to your reading for the week. This will be a general reading for the week of November 27th through December 3rd. We'll go ahead and take a look at the immediate past, the current situation, and the immediate future, and we'll close it off with a moon card for you today. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and get into your reading here. We're going to go ahead and use Tarot of the Spirit World for the reading and get some clarification with the Rider Week today. The overall energy for the reading is the Nine of Pentacles. You do not need to worry. Nobody is coming in to steal what you have accumulated. I promise you. It's okay. And the overall an overtone for the reading for the future is to know that it's about the journey, not the final destination. It's always about that journey, that love within our hearts and how we can heal and share with others. We know that in the recent past, you've been focusing on the things that you felt you were losing and you weren't real sure about your decisions and how things were gonna come to be because you felt everything was being taken from you. And now that it's coming back, you're just not sure you are holding on to some fears that somebody's going to come in and take things from you. And it's hindering you in your thought process and your ability to make those good and true decisions. And the divine would like you to know that they are with you and they have your back. And nobody's coming to steal from you and nobody's coming to take you away again. That these things are going to stay within your life and that. You are a child of the divine forever, truly a true star that will shine so bright for all eternity as you love the divine and allow them to fill your life up with tons of love. In the current situation, we know that you've been looking at a lot of the things and imagining what life could be like and that you've been trying to speak your truth, to always know your place and to be upright and honest and to always understand who you are as you move forward on this new venture. And they want you to know that you've been doing a fine job and they want you to continue on on this new venture that you're taking up with the full here. That it's okay to go ahead and start again. That you really do in the future with the Queen of Wands and the Lovers and the Knave of Swords to know that Everything is going to come in for you. Yes, there is a new offer and new love coming into your life. And it is going to be with true upright integrity. And you will know it when you see it because you'll feel it in your heart. The truth, the truthfulness and the tenderness of that love of that offer that is truly being blessed by the spirit. As you learn the ins and outs of the other individual. And just remember... When you start to feel those similarities or you feel that those moments come in and help to guide you through the future, don't worry about where they're coming from so much as what the energy feels like and what it's doing to help propel you forward. Feel that energy because all of our inner, inner relations, all of our actions, they're all based on energy. And sometimes energy comes back into our life to help us bring something to fruition or to help us understand more fully who we are and we take that energy and we move forward with it and we truly become enlightened and truly start to understand more and more what the world the universe is asking of us All right let's go ahead and take a look at the immediate past where you felt like everything was being taken and you felt like maybe they were coming to take everything that was yours and you weren't making good and true decisions anymore because you were doing it out of fear. Fear that someone was going to take what was yours. And so your decisions were fear-based instead of based in love. And they want you to know that they understand and that things are getting better now and that it's okay. You have a master wealth and it's okay. It's time to come out and speak your truth just that little bit more as you're starting off on that new journey, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look over here at the recent past. You had the new offer come in, but you were in that hangman mode, wondering what you should do. You just weren't real sure you were trying to make that decision. 
and the page of cups came and you're like, I don't know. Let me wait out. Let me think about it. And the universe wants you to know that it's okay to go ahead and go for it. Go ahead and ring the bell, so to speak. Cut yourself down. Get out of hangman mode. Come back and interact with the world again. And let us show you just how much everything has changed. Come back to the land of the living. Let's do this again is what they're saying. Truly, truly, you are going to be so happy that you did this new opportunity that is going to bring so much love into your life. You're truly going to know this blessed from the divine. But let's go ahead and take a look at the fool in the current situation with wanting to speak your truth. Yes, we know your heart felt broke and you were having a hard time making those decisions. But the Hierophant is here and the Hierophant is you. And we do know that you have all the knowledge you need, all the levels of the different realms and the knowledge that comes down from the divine into you and that you fully start to integrate it and understand it that you truly do have the knowledge that you need to make all the right decisions to truly heal those wounds of the past and to allow that heart to heal so that you may move forward let's go ahead and take a look at the immediate future with the lovers here and this offer that's coming in with the Knave of Swords, kind of like pulling King Arthur's sword from the stone, right? The sword from the stone. Um, you just don't know. You don't know where that offer is going to come from. You don't know where that magic is going to happen. But the energy is the same. And they want you to know that it's okay. They want you to accept it now. Do you understand? They want you to know that it's about the journey, not the final destination. And you were about to witness some miraculous things right before your eyes. And they want you to understand the intimacy of that true, true blissfulness of the ecstatic union of you and the divine. The hermit mode. Yes, we know. You've gone back inside to truly understand. We understand that. And yes, that tower moment. We know. But it's okay. The tower moment is not what you think it is. Okay, that offer is coming in and you just have to accept where what it is and where it's coming from and to know that it brings you everything. The nine of pentacles. If you just let go of the one thing and allow that moment to come, allow your heart to break so that it may heal. Let go of the past and step into who you truly are so that you may thrive within this world please they would like me to pull this card for you it is the ace of cups the new offer please please remember to take it it's coming with the ace of wands it truly is and we also see the empress here so please understand that it is an offer coming in and they want you to take it and it is going to be such a glorious celebration when you do. It truly is. Let's go ahead and get you the moon card. Just don't give up hope and keep pushing forward. You'll see there is a light shining so bright at the end of your tunnel. Truly there is. It's glorious. You are going to be so happy. Truly a true celebration. You can come back and tell me all about it. A new romantic cycle begins. It does. And you are going to be so happy. You truly, truly are. The end of a tough cycle truly does approach. And, the, and they really, really want you to take full advantage of the new opportunities that are coming to you. Allow your heart to open and to thrive within this universe. All right, right blessings to you always. I pray that you found value in my video and if you did please hit like subscribe and come on back for more i wish you the very best in life i truly do bright blessings to you always namaste